Okay, time for chapter 9 in the start of part 2. This is how I knew we were in for a new story. It literally just opens up with a text bubble where it goes, Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. And through victory, my chains are broken. This is basically the, the Sith lore right here. This is like what the Sith stand for. And he's basically being taught this by the Master of the Academy. And he is being taught by... Corliss, who is teaching him how to be a Sith. And he talks to him, and Corliss basically talks about how Bane is a raw apprentice who's never been tra trained. And Corliss is quizzing him about, like, what does he know about the academy. And then Corliss reveals that there are other training facilities where, where you are trained based off speciality. Like, there's one where you become Sith warriors or martyrs. Or, um, uh, kids who are trained for, like, assassins. And lastly, the, the team Bane is part of are the ones who are trained to be, uh, potential Sith, potential, uh, Sith, uh, lords. And there are also, like, another place where they get trained to be Sith masters. So, he's basically teaching us about the lore about the temple. And he is, and Cordis is anoints Bane by placing, like, blood on his, him. But it actually revolts him for some reason, which is pretty goofy, considering he's, like, murdered some people and literally bed dude's thumb off. But okay. And Bane is, over the next few weeks, he is training. And he's kind of scared because everyone else is, like, already pretty overpowered and he isn't. But he's trying to learn. So... He learns under many people, and there are group training sessions, and they're all learning at their own pace. He, um, is good at gathering the attention of the Sith Lords, and he also reads ancient records. Like, I, I'm good with this chapter, it's like a lot of basic selling in, this is just the start, um, pull up, let me, yeah, there. and, and he keeps reading too. And helps him give context to some of his lessons. And he's... He's learning a lot, basically. He's trying to understand more. Okay, here's some, like, cuts. Because this is where they start cutting to, like, the war that's actually happening. This is where it gets goofy. So, there's, like, a huge... F there's fighting now. Versus, like, on Rusan. Like, this is a plot right now. They're fighting on Rusan. And they're... And there's a lot of, like fighting on here basically and they're using the force to try and help their troops fight because they're having normal people fight here which is pretty goofy and and they and they can feel like fighting but the problem is they can feel uh a feel a jedi master but Copex he breaks in and takes out everyone and kills everyone and he also kills the jedi master and and basically, that's that's how they win the war there. Okay, time for chapter 10. Okay, time for chapter 10. So, he, this is, we get, like, a month time skip. And he's being, he's pretty good now with, like, using the Force. And now he's, like, tr training very hard now. Like, less reading, more action. And now he's hanging out with other students. But, but they're, um, so they're all jealous of him. But it's, like, hard for him to, like, gain prestige. But he's found a way, because there's a lightsaber combat. Like, this is how, uh, how it works. But he's been training, like, basic techniques from other people, like Orcasim. And basically, this is where Bane gets his, uh, form. It's DM, so form 5. It allows him to use his size and muscles. So, he spends, like, hours training with training sabers. And it's basically a lot of hard training. But during the training, he actually does something wrong. So he, so he has to, like, train, and everyone's, like, watching him more. And he, the, he's it's hard for him because it's a lot of mental focus. Because you're using, like, some energy. And in combat, they practice sequences so they can, based off their chosen style, in order to fight. But it takes a long time to learn. And, and they have to be, like, very accurate. And now they have to rest for 10 minutes after training, and now the challenges begin. It's his third day at the academy. 
but he, he you know, he remember while he's on meditating, he remembers his third day at the academy when he first used the force, truly. And now he's understanding like how to be a Sith um, apprentice. He he is fighting for himself in the end. And now it's time for the challenge duel. This is where they gain prestige. Like this is the, this is how you become the cool kid. And he has been refusing challenges, but now he's finally going to fight. This is going to be cool. He challenges Folarg, who is a Makurth, because earlier in his training he had lost badly before. While they fight, uh, they, while they fight, they, they fight basically. I'm not gonna talk about the fight too much because it's a fight. What do you expect? But now he fights. But while fighting, um, he gets attacked by Folarg and gets hit. Cause like the the training sabers, they like the same part of your body and you're useless. Like simulating like when you get an arm or a leg chopped off. And this is where they think Bane has lost. But Folarg just makes fun of him. Like he pa- he bags over him, and, and they beef. But. But he doesn't want to end the fight straight away. But he just keeps bullying him. Which is probably not the right thing to do. But then Bane, like, actually uses, like, force lightning that he's never learned. And literally hits Folarg and takes him out. But they try and... But it seems like enough Bane. But Bane just keeps doing it and straight up kills him. Which is... Which I didn't know he would straight up do. But I approve of it. Despite the graphic violence, it's okay. But as he walks away after the fight, he gets a, he gets met by Serac, who is one of the best like apprentices at um at Korriban. And there's like ref, uh they say that he might be the Sith Ari, which is like the chosen one of the group basically who will lead the Sith to freedom. And basically, Serac is is like interested in him, and he says that he hopes that they will fight soon. But they leave and that's the end of chapter 10 time for chapter 11